Oh, uh, census uh, request. You fill out the census name. Not tell yet. Them. No, I ain't got one yet. No. I got they, mine. They talking about this out. federal crime. If you don't answer this, mm. I, I said they, they talking about who live here. Three white women and an African. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm changing. You know, I'm gonna change my ethnicity this time. Let me tell you why that census <laughs> shit is bullshit. They be collecting information. They ain't just trying to count the people. Right. No. Every time they put it out, you know what they say at the end of the collecting the information? They always come out and say, for example, 27% of the people did not respond. Now, I thought the census was to count the people. That's what I thought. Mm -hmm. So, you know, so if you know how many people didn't answer, mm -hmm. You already know how many damn people it is. Exactly. They don't go together. You're just exactly. trying to collect additional information. Right. right. I mean, it just, it's just, it's, it's asinine. To and they so try that. to say the census help you in your neighborhood, how much funding goes into your neighborhood. Well, that's what they say. Mm -hmm. and, you know, but, and but it's, it's, really, more, it's more like if you don't answer it, they're going to take it away. No, I'm going to tell you what it's really doing. I, I put down, I be, I be telling them, a bunch of people live in my house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's it really telling people what the property value is in certain neighborhoods. That's what they do. That's all it is. They're tracking that and gathering tracking information. And how many police officers they feel like this this deserves and yeah. how many they don't. And how many blacks and, live over there that ain't a good yeah, neighborhood. That's, that's a high crime area. area. The insurance. Mm -hmm. so they the insurance. The you. people like that look at it and say, you in a high crime area. Exactly. You your know, zip funny. code is in so a high crime area. So we gonna make you pay high on your car for the possibility Everything. of being stolen. Insurance yeah. taxes going yeah. up. Yeah. Unreal, Can you man. imagine if everybody in America just clicked the white button? It mm. would just like throw the whole algorithm off as far as them tracking people. Yeah. yeah. If everybody just said it was white or black, just you American. You wouldn't get no food stamps if you did that. <laughs> it's more white people get food stamps than black folks. I know, but it won't be in your yeah. zip code. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just well, we it's don't just need. sad that we fight through so much, and they yeah. still ain't gonna let right. up, boy. But we may be scared as black people. And since you said that, mm -hmm. I mean that's a good point, which rolls right into my final topic. Yeah, right here with your boss, man. You know, I've thought about it. every interview I do of late is about comics. Against comics, Cat Williams thing, Monique thing, mm -hmm. and it it really appears, man, that we're gonna implode. No. The implode is to blow up from within, mm. and I ain't just blowing smoke. <coughs> it, it's really kind of sad that quote unquote successful. Entertainment, successful industry, people are going against each other. I mean, mm -hmm. it's kind of, it's mm -hmm. so, it ain't, you can cry about the white man this and the white man that, but we going we imploding, man. Right. We destroying ourselves yeah. from within. Now, Mike Epps has chimed in, and uh, I tour with him sometime, but he's chimed in. He's gone in on. Shannon Sharp, which I ain't mad about because, you know, it's a joke, man. It's just a joke. Yeah, cause cause Shannon first, went mm -hmm. off on him, you know, talking about doing him harm and stuff. And I think Mike responded with, like I would respond it, you know, I'm in the NFL. I ain't been to go fist the cuff with you. Right, right. So you bring your ass on if you want to. Right. But I will defend myself. Mm-hmm. In the words of Malcolm X, by any means necessary. Right. But why is that even necessary, man? We imploding, man. We devaluing ourselves. I was just really we, we, shocked that uh, Shannon took such offense. I, mean, I listened you, to it, and I'm like, thank Mike you, Sister Epps Jay. was cracking <coughs> jokes. Right. Thank you. All day long. That's what Mike Epps. I w I listened to it three, not once, not twice, but three times, because I'm trying to find Mike. Everybody know this is Mike Epps. Right. He just talking trash. Right. right. Yeah. But and then when I heard Shannon shop, I'm like, Shannon, you took this way, way out of to line. The left. You remember when Shannon was at basketball game earlier this year? At the right. Lakers game. At the Lakers game, they had to stop the game. Yeah. Now, what right. the hell is you doing? Yeah. Man? And you trying you to walk out on the field talking about he defending LeBron James. Yeah. They playing. You had John Morant father. He went yeah. at John Morant. played professional sport. He went at John Morant father. You going to go at somebody out on the court. They had to stop yeah. the game. Yeah. Yeah. Way too emotional. And so when you and get you offended. Well, hold yeah. on. Now. Let's look at this now. Mike, was he also was uh, uh, promoting his new 
show on Netflix. Yeah. Right. So to come out with the Cat Williams thing in it and Shannon Sharp, that's the biggest thing out now. So it's kind of, you, you think Mike was promoting his, no doubt. his special in right. a way? That, Ain't no doubt about right. it. But, but now Mike says, he DM Shannon. And then Shannon said, you said I DM you first. No, but Shannon had it wrong. Mike said, Mike said I DM you. He sure right. did. Right. I heard but Mike do you say. think Shannon took offense to when Mike said, I ain't going to fight you, I'm going to shoot you. Now, that's threatening words right there. Well, it's already threatening really? when you say you're going to fight and the man say he's tight yeah, I'm going to pull up on you. Fall tight in. He, yeah. he right. I'm finna well, pull well, up Mike on said you. this before Shannon responded. Mike said, I ain't going to fight your big ass. You know, if you see, if I see you out, I'm going to be in Indianapolis. If you come up on me, I'm not going to fight you. I'm gonna pep, 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 you know, shut, shut. Right. So Shannon might have felt threatened by that because no. Mike said it first. No, uh-uh, hold up. Let me, make yeah. two points. Let me make two points on this. One, when you first saw Mike Epps, None of us really felt the impact that Shannon might be gay. Everybody like that. He's just joking. None of us like, you know what? Well, he well, might yeah, be telling did. the truth. I did because so he, take, he take his designer everywhere with him. I thought maybe, hey, that's kind of strange. Still, hey, but, man. but still, and then yeah, if, strange. if he is gay, he like that boy that uh, that got drafted and was kissing that Sam, boy. Sam Mitchell. He like, not Sam Mitchell. Sam, I know um, the partner, man. What is his name? Sam you, if you would have said Mitch, you would have threw him Michael Sam. Michael, Michael Sam. Sam. Michael Sam. Michael Sam. Michael Sam. You, right. He can be gay if he want to. That, right. that son of a bitch, when that boy but, called him a sissy in Hollywood, he might be gay. Right. He went to whip his ass. He wasn't no sissy. Right. He gave him a <clears> whoop. <throat> so, and, I mean, and when Mike Epps got through with his bit, Mike didn't say nothing about seeing me in Indianapolis. Shannon goes on a nightcap with Ocho Cinco. Somebody, you lied on me, boom, 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 and I'm going to see you with the All-Star game coming up. And then, so to me, if you a dude that big and swole talking about you're going to see me, you're going to pull up on me because you we all know what the word pull up on me, pull up means. So now you're telling me you're going to pull up on me, all right? Now the All-Star game is coming less, less than a week away. All right, I'm a grown man. I'm just going to respond simply. He didn't sit there and say. No, Mike said it first. You got it wrong. No, he didn't. Mike came out with his interview first. So I DM Shannon, try to ask to be on the show. Cause Cat brought my name up. I thought he was gonna say something about he me, d- but he didn't. Cause well, Cat, he jo- bro, he's I joking. promise you, Mike right. jokingly said what I saw. Mike jokingly said, "I wish." And then Shannon Chad came with the night call. Yeah. I got a special coming out. I exactly. need some publicity. Basically, but exactly. I'm, I'm Shannon yeah. threatened first. Is, I'll right. stand ten toes down at Shannon threatened first. Cause if you telling me that I'm gonna see you and I'm gonna pull up on you, then that's a threat. And Mike but came Shannon back and said, said "I don't fight." Mike said that he called him. Mike right. said that's not true. Mike said he I damn you. Sure. So, you know, but and even Mike thing, before all this broke out. Mike was up there on stage cracking jokes. Mm-hmm. And even if he said well, he called <laughs> even if he said he called me, you know the man is up stop why why exactly, are you old. taking this so personal? Like stop with the comedians. I'm sorry. The comedians right. they are here to make, I'm going to talk for me, Thank make you. me laugh. When I'm having a hard day, I will go on and I look at comedy. Right. Y'all taking this stuff way out of contents. Like, yeah. come on, man. You don't like, see Seinfeld just, arguing with nobody. Too much. Well, I think and Shannon was taking it after he saw what Cat could do with the controversy. He tried to take it and... Uh, Duplicate that kind yeah, of listen, man. Right. Unk, you That's can't whoop everybody. Can't That's all I'm saying. You can't do that and threaten nobody. However, yeah. can't whoop everybody. Before the cat thing, like I said, when he stepped out on the basketball court, that's exactly. a sign of being out of control there. They Draymond stopped the Green game, style. man. They stopped the NBA game. <laughs> yeah. You a yeah. civilian. Yeah. You know. And, and I don't you know. Who stop made? the game. Talking about you going to intervene between yeah. two. Active players and having the, beef. And man, what's that big forward name that played for? Um, that like somebody played from their time. He used to play for Oklahoma City Thunder, but he plays with Memphis now. Um, big dude, big white boy. Um, gosh, Peter. Oh, I know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah and I'm like, Shannon, you trying to be. He think, ain't no joke. Yeah, I'm like, Shannon, you want to walk up on him? Be no my joke. guest, bro. Like, you okay. Blow your ass on yes. Exactly. You'll be in your 50s and that dude, okay. You, it ain't, ain't, ain't going to end well for you, you Shannon. You your hairdresser or whatever. Shannon, uh, whoever be traveling hey, with Brian, you, man. Shannon said, I'm going to be a problem. Trouble. Huh? Shannon said, I'm going to be a problem. He's going to be a problem, but that dude going to be a bigger problem, man. Like, shoot, just because them NBA players, then them dudes be strong, man. Yeah, I, yeah. So I'm taking I'm taking big dude yeah, from Oklahoma City. I think That's we all better lighten up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. it's just getting way out of hand. It Before is. you know it, somebody gonna get killed. Somebody gonna get hurt over some bullshit. Yeah, and I like huh. Shannon Sharp. I just think I like him too. Yeah, I just think he took I like that him way. See, Charles Barkley. I was in uh, Sacramento. Yeah. I don't know, five six years ago, and we happened to be at the same restaurant, same time. 
bulldozed by us there. And uh, he said, DZ, come on over. And we ate, we ate together. He's nice, dude. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, I mean, I, I don't, but I think he taking this, like everybody else. Yeah. You, you, you're you taking yourself way, way too emotional. Charles Barker, Uncle you're taking shot. They done yourself. calm down on go, going out. Man, when I was leaving to go to Dallas last week, <laughs> guess who's behind me I in love the security Charles. line? Who? Charles Barker. Charles I love Barker. Charles. I mean, man. immediately behind me. So when people were speaking to me, and then I was saying to him, because he was reluctant to speak to me at first, right, right. so when people, a couple of people spoke to me, and I said, you know Charles? Yeah. Because <laughs> he was trying to be incognito, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then finally, he, he opened up a little bit. I said, hey, man, I'm just joking. I ain't yeah, doing such. He's all right, Charles, man. DC. Yeah. And we talked a little bit after yeah. that. But he was directly behind me. Uh, yeah, Charles is a good dude. I was man. going to Dallas. Charles, Charles is a good dude. Yeah, man. Yeah. Can times. you imagine? He's not much taller than you, DC, but how bad he was uh, in the pro. He about six inches tall. Yeah, he a little bit bigger than everybody. Huh? He's six yeah, four. Yeah, he about six four. Man, they I'm say six, six four, feet. but sometimes I look at Charles I'm like, dog, he, he probably like six arms. six. He had, his arms were so yeah, long. Yeah, dude. Yeah, he big. Yeah. He big. Yeah. Big yeah. and wide. Yeah, he wide. He wide. He was powerful, though, man, on that court, man. For his height. Yes. Yes, he was doing his thing. Yeah, he was, man. Especially Philadelphia. Last time. and so not least. Well, I've been I've been I've been meaning to say this for two weeks. So let me just go say it. About human nature and uh mm. and kind of tie into us going against each other. Dave Chappelle said, Why well, cat mentioned all black comedians and that way. Mm. But anyway, it, it's human nature, man. That's and then you combine around. that with black folk and being black. It's, it's amazing. This ain't got nothing to do with nothing. Y'all gonna be like, what the fuck are you talking about, then? I'm with you, man. Let's go. <laughs> you do that all the time. Go ahead. Let's do it. They talk about aliens and stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> People from outer space coming here to the United States. It's amazing to me that human beings who have several different emotions you got evil, you got humorous, you got compassionate, you know, you got all the different human beings elements of human psychology, you know. You got love, you got, and the assumption is that if there are aliens, and I believe there are, if mm -hmm. there is so-called intelligent life on other planets, they would do us harm. In other words, the human perspective is that if there are people on other planets, they possess our worst characteristic which is evil why is that when if you don't know how do you know they not extraordinarily humorous or right. extraordinarily compassionate or extraordinarily smart well they are extraordinarily smart because we ain't gone to their damn planet right <laughs> but why True. would you assume that they would do us harm or that they are evil. Just human nature assumes the worst because we so fucked up. Right. Yeah. We assume the worst by anybody right. well, in the rest of the motherfucking galaxy. Right. Well, that was a race when of people. When the fact is, yeah, I'm not even talking about yeah, the human race, but I'm saying that's just evil and it's just one aspect of the right. human emotional level. Right. So they could be a bunch of jokesters. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. Could be a they bunch could of comedians. They could be humorous. They could be extraordinarily compassionate. Right. They could be. Be like, they so weak, we ain't any of those wasting our time with because them. Because we so fucked up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We assume that any aliens. Gonna come in with ill intentions. Gonna come in here with our no worst difference. human characteristic, mm -hmm. which but, is evil. But let's be honest now. The ones that say that are always thinking like that, whether it be aliens or whether it be people of color. The ones that think like that is because they think everybody wants to be like them, exactly. which is to rule and conquer and do people wrong. Right. So yeah. they're the ones that had a voice in the platform to make those broad statements. Right. Because like mm -hmm. that is a race of people who thought black people was the same as you're talking mm -hmm. about aliens. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they that's all we I'm was saying. Be savages. It, it, when 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 word get out it, like it's, that, it's funny because you say same. savages, like everyone thinks that aliens are going to be savages too. Because the that's weapons. That's what I'm saying. Right, that's no, exactly. What I'm saying. Because right. the weapons they got. And I'm saying that that <laughs> aspect of human life is just one aspect. You got, you got evil, you got good. Mm -hmm. right. You got happy, you got sad, you got humorous, 
You got right. so why would you pick the worst? You got sorrow like like it could be a, a race of aliens out there that are so sorrowful, but then see the joy of people bungee jumping. Like man, I want to learn more right. about that. But like you said, the innate nature, the human nature, is the so, human nature, so, messed up, so fucking messed up. Yeah, we assume that, that they want to they want to be evil and and dominate and come right. take yeah. over. Yeah. That they're gonna be as as well, fucked up as us. Well, you know why DC because television and movies portray them that way. They, well, like yeah, they but who, us. who doing the television and movie? That's what I'm talking. About. Right, exactly. right. <laughs> so they saying aliens gonna come in with all these hey. sophisticated weapons and and yeah. all these things like television movies represent. Yeah. yeah. Can and, I, and plus, if they you look lead at all you these, a certain way. They lead you a certain way. Yeah. If you look around the world, all the religions, everything else, the first thing they teach you was fear, yeah. uh, fear of something else. Mm, mm-hmm. right. and, and most people are afraid of something that they don't even see. It's just something I, they told you about. So I, then they started making movies, and they're like, oh, my God. Like, you know, m- matter of fact, um, what's it, Orson Welles yeah, yeah, just I'm got on the radio and scared half the country. Shut it down, country down. Shut man. it down. Right. Right. On, on just show, made up stuff. They only showed the male aliens, the robot aliens. They don't show the fire like Avatar did. Right, yeah. right. I ain't right. never Can't seen show no black aliens. With Avatar. Yeah. <laughs> can, can I can I show y'all how like you call male, but how, they don't be having no pants on. I don't be seeing no dangling. Right? <laughs> can I show y'all how far we've come? No, but and we actually mm-hmm. believed it back mm-hmm. in the day. Like back in the day, you would watch an old western, <laughs> and it would be ten Indians surrounding the cowboy, and right. they just go in one at a time. <laughs> no, in real life, man, all ten of y'all gonna jump this dude, but they come in one at a time, and he whoop one and throw the other one out right. the way. Yeah. Then the other one come in, and wait, and he whoop one and throw that. They yeah. wait, but. I I'm like, man, it's crazy how Hollywood just had this program to thinking like, man, this dude could just whoop 10 Indians. Yeah, alien, uh, no one in real life, man, like, dog, nah, we right. ain't going to wait. All of us going to jump you. you know Hollywood got it so bad that you yeah. can have the baddest terrorists in the world working for you, the baddest mercenaries or whatever, but we always train one white guy. Yeah. Right. Yeah, right. <laughs> that you kill everybody. You done hired the best in the Dude. world, but this one white guy got more skills. And, and I got one better. 105, 105 pound white woman. She got more skills. Yes. And when it all comes down to it's all about the money and yeah. we won't go watch the movie. Yeah. And, and I got, and, and the baddest white man in the world was Tarzan that could talk to animals and beat their talk ass up monkeys. and everything yeah, else, too. That's something. Yeah, yeah Tarzan. You know, I, you know what I always did a joke about Tarzan? I said, now the niggas been living around him all this time. The, the animals want to kill us. Yeah. <laughs> right. White people don't left a white child behind. <laughs> that goddamn gorilla is breastfeeding this motherfucker. Right, right, right. <laughs> gorilla breastfeeding this motherfucker. Right. Man, he's superhuman. Yeah. This man. And he can talk to the animals. Mm-hmm. And, and, and it's amazing as you get older, your perspective on life changed. Because when you watch the Jungle Book, you just thought the tiger was was just evil. Yeah. But when the tiger break it down, you're like, you know what tiger's biggest thing? He said, look, this man cub gonna bring a whole lot of trouble yeah. and they gonna come in here mm-hmm. and they gonna hunt us and we need to kill this man cub right, right now. now. But right. you know, you look at it like, you know what, Shao Kahn was kinda on to something. Yeah. You know, a little bit. But yeah, yeah. Then, then Gorilla, what's the big gorilla name? King Kong? King Kong. He yeah. falls in love with a 105 pound white woman. <laughs> and, and take it, take it to the top of the world. Think I had Serena William out there. He, he, <laughs> yeah. You take it to the top of the world. <laughs> he took a 105 pound white woman. I take it to the top of the world. Only to let you yeah. know that we're going to come and shoot you down. Anybody <laughs> else you want to kill? A lot of symbolism. <laughs> God bless the gorilla. Oh, yeah, God man. bless Kanye West. What y'all going to do about y'all boy? <laughs> what, what he done, done now? Talk about his so, wife. Uh, and hey man, but you want to talk about it now? You know, he talk about the Jews and the money. And Adidas is back courting him. I knew it because they lost long. so much money, so they back talking to him now. They had him <laughs> meeting with Adidas. I, what happened? I thought y'all were so. He was so they gonna, they gonna train him. Anti-Semitic. They gonna train him. I, that's the only reason. The only reason they release media like that is because they got the upper hand. If Kanye West had the upper hand, we wouldn't hear nothing. They releasing it because we talking to Kanye and get words. But man, when Kanye come back, he gonna be trained. Kanye be tripping that though. He come gonna on. be nah, trained. He gonna man. sign a contract and breach it again. He, be he gonna be trained. He man. gonna breach You'll it see. again. He gonna breach. He gonna be trained. He gonna be well spoken behaving. Whatever Adidas you, say. You want to bet? I guarantee you, he won't say nothing out of the promise the moment that deal is done. Oh, you got a lot of nerve guaranteeing that about Kanye West. That's, right. You must have heard some of the shit he said. Oh, I hear him all the time. Oh, uh, right here, Shaq went off on him. Kanye you know? off chain, man. Shaq told him to man up, stop snitching on people. Is that what he told him? Yeah. Yeah. Come on now, Kanye. 
Come he's on. touched. Poor guy. You can't say anything. He's touched. God bless you. Mm. Well, God bless y'all. God bless Carla. Hope she had a good nap. Man, long day. It's Wednesday. It's home day Wednesday. She need to get oh, it in. Yeah. Valentine. Get I, I do want to say, Valentine's can I say, DC? What do you want to say, JJ? Um, guys, please go to Amazon Prime or Stash TV and check out my movie, Too Crazy on Another Level. Too Crazy on Another Level. It's getting good reviews. It's Crazy Women. That's what it's you about. You know what? Me and my wife started watching it the other night. Really? Yeah, yeah we started watching it. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't finish watching? I didn't finish. Well, you watch the other half tonight. I, I am. I got it. I paid for it already, so I, I do that sometimes. Now I'm getting older. I'll be falling asleep on shit. Yeah, That's why I've like been going everything. Then I just go back and watch it. Yeah. I you know what? You know what I've been being watching? Been being watching? What? Uh, uh, Snowfall. Man, that's one of the greatest series I've ever know, seen. I don't know what that is. You? No, oh, yeah, I know I've seen it Snowfall. I'm not watching it. I just don't <clears> watch shows that has to deal with the drug dealer rising up in the community and doing this and. I'm so tired of that segment of stuff like BMF and Snowfall. There's so many more things to us than the drug deal on the rise. I just don't watch it. But that's well, what it's about. Well, my show is not like that. Why you haven't why you haven't checked my show out? I'm trying to, Sister Day. I will. <laughs> Next time we talk, Sister Day, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a beat. I'm going to know every line of your show. I guarantee Crazy it. on the level. Too crazy on another level. Yeah. Too crazy Amazon on another Prime level. or Stash TV. Tubi, we waiting on you guys to give us the green light. Anybody get ran over by a car in that one? <laughs> yeah, <it's too laughs> crazy. Got chased with a baseball bat. Happy yeah. Valentine's Day. I'm DZ Curry. I'm Bo P. Happy Valentine's Day. I'm Sister JJ. Happy Valentine's Day. I'm Brian Harper. Happy Valentine's Day. And it's your man Bullhead. Good night. <laughs>